Well, hello everyone. Today I wanted to do like frequently asked tattoo questions. Um, this super cute girl named Gabby, I'll link her right here, um, she answered these questions. I kind of wanted to just do the same. She ended up mentioning me at the end about like, because the last question is saying like, what YouTubers do you watch that make tattoo content? So, I mean, I was like the smallest person on her list, but I thought I would, it would be cool if like I just did it. Okay, it's like day two of quarantine for me, so I'm like, well, I guess work day two of quarantine. We've been in quarantine since the following Saturday, so I'm just like, need to like talk. I'm alone at my house and I'm just with my dog and he doesn't say much. So let's just hop right into this. If you haven't already, make sure you like and subscribe. All right, let's get back to the rest of this video. The first two questions are, which were the most and least painful tattoos. Um, by far, my chest was my most painful tattoo. I started this chest piece in 2018 and I got the lining and the shading done and it took me just about a year <laughs> to get it colored in because the pain was close to excruciating. So there's not really much you can like do when you're getting your chest tattooed so you kind of just like sit there and endure the pain. I was like staring at, up at the ceiling and like counting Mississippis. So I'd be like one Mississippi, two Mississippi. And I knew like my tattoo artist would not really work past like 18 Mississippis. So when I was like getting up there, I knew he was gonna like let up and I could like breathe and relax for one more second. So that is by far my most painful one. To be honest, I feel like all tattoos get painful after a certain point just because you're just sitting there getting stabbed <laughs> for a couple hours. So at the end, I'm just like, holy motherfucker, I cannot wait for this needle to get out of my skin. My least painful tattoo. Um, I'm not gonna say it's like one tattoo, I'm gonna say it was a general area. I believe it was like two years ago at this point. I ended up getting like the, my wrist lower forearm section finished. And I got this gravestone, my shattering teeth, and my mosquito done all at the same time. And I think this was the easiest spot I've gotten tattooed. I was just, like, I had my arm over here, and then I was just sitting here reading my book and minding my own business. And I don't even think, like, it was painful at all. But I don't know if I was just, like, in a good mental state, because when I find... And I'm in like a bad mental state, tattoos just feel like excruciating. Like I, if you guys have seen, link up here if you haven't watched it, but I recently got my thigh tattooed and the night before that my downstairs neighbor was like screaming and the cops got called on him and then I was like being very paranoid and I got like four hours of sleep and then I had to drive to Chicago the next morning. My pain threshold kind of like varies but I also I hear with age the older you get the more painful things are and I don't know if I'm just becoming an old fart but tattoos are just hurting more and more I'm not just the young and I used to be so I think if you want to get tattooed do it now because when you get older everything sucks <laughs> well that's what I heard I'm only 23 so I guess I would be still considered young but I'm not 18 no more the next question is have you ever used nummy cream no I have not I never like even think about numbing cream like when I see people like use it on YouTube videos or Instagram posts I'm like that sounds like a really good idea but I never do. I want to get my stomach and my back done so if I get those pieces I think I will highly consider using numbing cream because I've heard your back tattoo is like the most painful thing ever and also I feel like stomach would just be awful. Also like how the fuck do you breathe when you're getting your stomach tattooed? Like doesn't your stomach move a lot? I don't know. <laughs> things that I don't have the answers to so I'll ask you. The next one is what is my most favorite and least favorite tattoo? Um, there's so many to choose from. I really 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 like my chest tattoo. Um, it's funny that it was the most painful because it's my favorite. Um, it's like my all-time favorite but like you know when you get a new piece you're like oh no this one's my favorite. That's how I feel about my thigh right now because it's super super cute and I don't want to say I have like I don't hate any of my tattoos. I disfavor some of them. I don't know. So I have this I think I've mentioned this cat um, quite a few times on this channel but not really fond of this little 
this little kitty cat. Don't really care for this flower right here. I used to really be upset about this moth because you know how it's like symmetrical little designs. One of them is like uneven and like kind of fucked up a little. I was really pissed about that when I didn't have a lot of tattoos because I felt like that's the only thing I could see. But now that my arm is pretty much covered and now I'm going on to different limbs, I don't really think about it as often, you know. Such a small detail that now, to be honest, I don't even look at that moth anymore. Do you ever just wake up and you realize that you're like have tattoos? Like so weird. Well, like I mentioned, I'm quarantined. I mean, I feel like everyone is, we're all quarantined. But it's just so weird because I'm always like in sweaters and sweatpants and then I wanted to film this video and obviously like show my tattoos because I'm going to be speaking about them. And then now I'm like talking about them and looking myself in the viewfinder. I'm like, damn girl, you got some, a lot of fucking tattoos. <laughs> Next question, how much is a tattoo and how much do you think you've spent? It all depends on what piece you're getting and especially what style. Because if you're going to go get like some Kylie Jenner tattoos, then that's probably going to be like shop minimum. Or if you're getting an American traditional tattoo, that's going to vary from like a couple hundred dollars depending how big the piece is. And if you're getting like a huge grayscale tattoo, especially by like a really famous artist, I wouldn't doubt that you'd be spending like thousands of dollars. So it really depends on how much money you want to spend. I usually get like palm sized tattoos. So after deposit, I usually save around 300 ish dollars for the tattoo. Sometimes a little more depending on like if I've ever been to the artist. If I know like what the artist prices are. A lot of the time before I even go to the appointment, I will ask how much they want for the piece just so I have cash on hand. But American traditional tattoos kind of range from like 250 ish to like $350. I'm not saying this is like the price of every tattoo artist, but that's generally I think for a quality artist's art how much it would cost and also depending on the size like if you're gonna go get like how I have like this little flower obviously so that's not gonna be like $200 but if you're wanting to get like a bigger size piece like you're gonna be in like the 200 or 300 dollar range so everything kind of all adds together I mean it's just like getting your hair done if you're gonna get like a bunch of things done and it's like a huge deal then obviously it's gonna be like way more money so I feel like it's kind of common sense a huge American traditional piece isn't gonna be like $80 I don't know, I feel like I'm rambling at this point. I think I have spent probably like $2,000, $3,000 at this point. Um, I do have quite a few tattoos on my left arm. I still have some space to finish though. And then I have two on my right arm, my chest, and then now I just have one on my thigh. So. I do have quite a few pieces, I would say. That's probably like a rough estimate. I could probably like calculate how much I actually think, but I'm not gonna do that. Next question is, what is your healing routine? Most of the time the artist I go to will use, I forget what it's called, but it's like basically this tape they put on your skin that's like for burn victims and it just heals you. They usually want you to have it on for at least the night or, or for the next 24 hours. Saline, I don't know how to say it. Xanaderm, you dumb bitch. How many times have you gotten tattooed? I love when artists do that because when they do like the other stuff and then like the bandage tape and all that shit like it just gets stuck everywhere and then like it'll come off and then get like stuck to your clothes and then your clothes get all of, like the gooey tape stuff on it. So I really like that and I dry heal all of my tattoos. First of all, I cannot be like putting lotion on myself all the time. I have like, this is so TMI, but I have horrible hygiene. Like the stereotypical person with depression and horrible hygiene, like that's me. Like I forget to brush my teeth like 95% of the time. That's so disgusting. And that's probably why I only wash my hair once a week, but I like to say it's because I have colored hair. But I mean, it's probably just because I'm fucking depressed and lazy. So I like to do the bare minimum. I like dry healing. So dry healing is just letting your tattoo do its thing. Wash it, dry it, that's it. And then I will only put lotion onto a fresh tattoo until like I cannot stand it anymore. Like when the scab is getting so fucking itchy that like I feel like I'm like tapping a weave where I'm like on my skin. So that's when I'll start putting lotion to it and then I will let it be and let it moisturize 
and let it revive itself. I like to leave my tattoos alone. Your body will heal itself. Like, you don't need to, like, take these huge percussions and, like, baby it. Like, we've all fallen down and, like, skid our knee. Our body takes care of it. A scab will form eventually, and that's exactly what your tattoo's going to do. So don't worry about it, and don't be like, I. this is just sounds like I'm being a hypocrite, but don't pick your tattoos. I am such a bad fucking picker. I love picking. I love picking my face. I love picking my scabs. I love picking my tattoos. And that is so bad, because you're just gonna like rip the ink right out of the tattoo. So if you can, um, Maybe just forget that you even have a tattoo to cover it up at all costs so you don't pick at it. And I know that's like tattoo etiquette, but like I know you fucking people pick at your tattoo scab step acting like you're perfect. <sighs> wow, I just sound a little bitter, don't I? <laughs> Next question, what are your parents' opinions? So my dad is pretty heavily tattooed. I honestly think I probably have more tattoos than him at this point. I'll insert a pic of him. He kind of looks like a fuckboy in that picture, but... <laughs> That's my father. He has his chest done, his back, like his upper back, and then he has half sleeves. And then he has one thing. I think he has two shin tattoos or calf tattoos. I don't know. I feel like maybe I'm just even with him or above him with more tattoos or below him. Like we're kind of at the same level at this point. Uh, my mom has three tattoos and she cries like a baby during every tattoo appointment. So I don't think she'll be getting any in the near future. To be honest, at first my dad was kind of sexist about getting tattoos. Um, he like went with me to my first tattoo appointment on my 18th birthday where I got the come as you are. But then I got my moth done on my 19th birthday and he's like, you know you're going to be a grandma with tattoos. What do you think your husband will think? What do you think your kids will think and your grandkids? And I'm like, I'm like, you're literally a fucking grandpa with tattoos. Like, fuck off. And then I like left the room and then I just kept getting more and more tattoos and like... They just stopped caring and making comments like that. Um, my mom thinks that I have too many flower tattoos. Like, um, when I got this piece, I got it done in November of last year, so 2018. She was like, no more roses. Stop getting roses. Get something else. And I'm like, but they're so pretty. Like, roses can be drawn, like, so many different ways. And I just like them, okay? Sorry I like roses. At least it's not like one of those like boner garage tattoos. Like at least it's just like a flower. I mean no offense if you have boner garage tattoo, but like I don't know. This boner garage tattoo is just not really my taste. What's my boyfriend's opinion? Um, I don't fucking care about his opinion, but um I think he thinks I'm cool as fuck because I have tattoos. He has no tattoos. Um when we started dating a year and three, four months ago? A year and four months. I already like have had a lot of tattoos, so he already knew I had tattoos. I don't really think he thinks about it, like ever. <laughs> but I don't know, we'll have to ask Pablo about his opinion. And last question, do I watch any YouTubers that make content about tattoos? Um, I think the person I most watch about tattoos is Quicken. Her actual name is Amanda. She's also vegan. She's pretty cool. I used to like binge watch her stuff, but then I think I watched through all of her tattoo videos and then I just started getting tattooed myself. So like if I had any questions, I already kind of knew the answers to it. Of course, now I watch Miss Gabby. And then I think her name is Lucy. I'm not sure, but she has a lot of black work tattoos and her husband's a tattoo artist. She is like, I think she's the one with like the knife down her face. I'm not sure if that's her name. I'm not sure if Lucy is her name. But, of course, I'll link her. And then Katrin, she does, like, an ass ton of tattoo content. Um, Helen Anderson, I love her, but she doesn't really, like, make actual tattoo content. She just, like, has them and does, like, a vlog every once in a while. Um, and then there's this one girl, I think her name is Heather. I'm not sure. But, of course, I'll link her because she makes a lot, a lot of content about tattoos. That's, like, the whole thing about her channel. So I will leave all of those ladies below because sharing the love, sharing the wealth of YouTubers and tattoos. Um, if you have any more questions, leave them down below because I would love to answer them. I'd love to help answer any questions if you have and I can potentially answer them. I don't know the answers to everything, but I can try and help. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't liked and subscribed already, please do that. Please, please do that. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.